Welcome to Budget Model Railways and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to fit these directional lights into your model railway locomotives to fit any locomotive whatsoever and as you can see they look pretty impressive. So making the directional lights is actually a lot simpler than the coach lighting from last week. You'll need your loco that you want to fit lights in. In my case my loco is in two parts because it's the front and rear power car for a Intercity 125. Um, you'll need some black paint, any kind of black paint will do, we just need a couple of coats of this. A two millimeter drill bit, just in case the holes are either not there at all or not big enough. And the main star of the show are these two millimeter tower LEDs that are bi-directional. So what that means is if you connect the power one way round, they'll be red. If you connect the power the other way around, they'll be white. And the crucial thing about these ones is that these are already 12 volt. And I picked these up from Rapid Electronics. They are 70p each, but I think if you buy more than 25, they go down to 50p each. So again, nice and cheap. Now, you may also want to throw in some capacitors as well. These are the exact same ones from the coach lighting video. They cost 20p each. Uh, but I find with the Locos you don't really need them because the Locos have good enough pickups as is. So let's have a look at how we do this. So the first step is going to be, if your Loco has it, to pop the lenses out of the front there. Which you should just be able to do by pushing from behind and the lens is going to pop out. Now these LEDs are 2 millimeters in diameter, if it wants to focus and the hole that is already there is not quite two millimeters. So that's where our two millimeter drill bit is gonna come in. Now you can try and drill it out by hand, but I'm lazy, so I'm gonna use power tools. But remember to be incredibly careful because you only need to take a tiny bit of material out like that. And that. So now it will fit. Now, if your locomotive, I know a lot of the Hornby bodies aren't as good, that's why I love the Lima bodies, because most of them already have lenses in them. The Hornby ones tend to just be painted over, so you're going to have to drill them out, which of course does mean permanently modifying your body. Whether you want to do that is up to you, but the effect, in my opinion, is definitely worth it. I have done it for one of my 37s, and it looks absolutely amazing. So anyway, we've drilled that out, and now what you'll find is that the LEDs should be able to fit in there perfectly. Now, we don't want any light leakage, so what we're gonna do now is paint the inside black, and also paint around the LED black, apart from the very top. Now, even though the inside of this 125 here is already a very dark gray, I'm gonna paint it black anyway, because if there's light leakage, it just really ruins the look of the whole build. So you can see there that I painted all around the side of the LED black, but I've left the tip there completely clear so that the light only comes out the front. So we're gonna leave them to dry. So now we've painted the inside of the bodies and the LEDs and they're dry. We're gonna get the lens that we just popped off and we're gonna cut off these little bits of it here and here. Now, if yours is one of the locos that doesn't have lenses, you wouldn't have had to have done that step. And what we're gonna do then is glue the lens back in place, just using a little bit of super glue. What we can then do is look at putting the LEDs inside. So, we're going to take them, and because they're bi-directional, it doesn't matter what way around we're putting them in. And we're just going to put, again, a little blob of super glue 
on the LED itself and we're going to push it into the hole that we just drilled out to be big enough. Perfect, it's in there. And then same on the other side. And obviously this will be repeated in the other end of your loco, or in my case, the dummy car. Doesn't seem like that hole got drilled out properly there. Just gonna re-drill that. There we go. And push that in there, there we go. That is all four of our LEDs in. Two in each end of your loco, or in the case of a HST, one in one end, one in the other. And once again, you have to let that dry. Now we can get on with the soldering. Now, whilst these LEDs don't really have a positive and a negative because they work both ways round, it's important that we do wire them up the same way, otherwise you'll have a red light and a white light. So we're gonna solder the two short legs together and the two long legs together. You might have to chop the wires as well, depending on how much room you have inside your loco. So that's my two short wires soldered. I'm just going to cut off the excess. And then I'm going to bend the two long wires together and solder them. There we go, I've got my two long wires and my two short wires soldered together inside there. What we're then gonna do is solder ourselves some wires onto the long and short wires of the LEDs that we've just grouped together. So we're gonna tin the wires first, put a little bit of solder on them. And then just chop off the excess so there's not too much and solder it onto one of our legs here. So in this case, I'm gonna go on the short leg and that's now soldered on. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing. Oh, already stripped that on with the other one. Just quickly tin it and then put it on. There we go. Now we can look at the trickier bit, which is mounting it. So on the HST here, the wires have to come up through this part of the seating and then over some little wire mounts here. This is because the original HSTs came with some very old style directional lights that I've long ripped out of this and that is quite helpful for us because it means there is a lot of space in here to make our own LEDs. So these wires need to come sort of through here and over there kind of thing. So it's gonna be very chicken and egg. So I've been fiddling around. In the case of the HST, it's much easier to put the seats into the body like that and route the wires out than it is to try and mess with the wires down there. So what we're gonna do now is strip off the other ends and this is where you've got a 50-50 chance of getting it right the first time. And we're gonna pick one of our pickups. You can see on the dummy car here, our pickups are there and there. Because I've already done coach lighting in the rear here, I have some closer pickups over here that I'm gonna use. If you're using the power car, then again, don't worry about my mess of wires. But here and here, these two metal plates on the motor are where your pickups go to. One will be positive, one will be negative. So you can use them directly which is very convenient indeed. So again, just going to tin the wires and be very careful when you're soldering around locos. You don't want to drop any solder onto the bodies. 
that would ruin the look of them. So uh, here I'm just going to take lucky guess, solder one onto each connection and we'll see if we got it right. And if not, it's no biggie. We can just swap them over down here. Okay, so let's go and test it. So I've just loosely put the body on, but we can see that if I flick the switch right to power going that way, the train is lighting up with the white lights. So I managed to get it correct the first time. And if we switch left, then we get the red lights. This looks very cool. So now we need to do the same to the other end in reverse to get the lights going the opposite way. So I'm going to do the exact same process on the power car here. I'm probably not going to talk through it because you've seen it on the other one, so I will just time lapse it. I'm just going to re-solder up the LEDs together, solder the wires on, route the wires, solder it onto the motor connections, and then we'll have the front and rear done. Now, at this point, if you were using, doing this to a locomotive rather than a split part front and rear, then you would just solder these wires the opposite way around to the way you soldered them in the other end so that they're facing opposite ways. In this case, because it's kind of a different locomotive, I don't know which way's which. So once again, I'm gonna take a guess, solder them onto these contacts here, see if it's the right way around. If it's not, flip them over and then we're good to go. So I just checked and once again, I managed to get incredibly lucky and get it correct first time. That's never happened before. So I'm just going to put some insulation tape around these contacts so that they don't short out on anything. And then we're going to route the wires through the seating again, put the body back on and we will have our complete loco with front and rear directional headlights that will change between red and white depending on what way it's going all for less than a couple of pound so it's a little bit noisy but there we go it's all put together currently got two coaches with the lights in and we can see those glorious directional lights there we have the nice bright white ones on the front our coach lights and our red rear lights We'll try and get ahead of it here. You can see how bright they are. They look really good. And the red lights on the rear. 